Hello Year 3. Here's a little mental maths guide before you start your homework this week. Let's start with bridging as our first mental method. Bridging looks an awful lot like a number line as you're trying to get to the nearest 10. It means you're also using those lovely things called number bonds, which might look a little bit like this. Throughout the video, you might see me drawing number lines. This is to show you what I'm doing in my head, and hopefully it will be what you're doing in your head too. To bridge successfully, you're going to need to use your number bonds. So here's a little question I've got. 9 add 5. If I want to do that in my head, I might think, how can I make it easier? So for a start, I'm going to take my number 9, I'm going to make it to a nearest whole 10, which is a lot easier to work with. So I'm going to think, right, 9 add 1 is going to give me 10. Now I've got to add on what's left. So as I've already added on 1, I've got to add on the remaining part of the 5, which would give me 4. Add the rest on. And hopefully, i found my answer. It doesn't matter how many digits are in your numbers, bridging will always work because it's using your known facts and your number bonds. Here's my question. 28 add 14. You'll notice both numbers have tens and both numbers have units, making this a bit trickier than the one before. You might want to pause the video to have a go yourself. OK, I'll show you what I'm going to be up to. Here's my brain again. And inside my brain, I'm going to picture the first number, 28. And straight away, I'm going to want to make that to the nearest 10. So I'm going to think, what's the number bond that works with 8? It's 8 and, ah, there you go, 8 and 2. So if I add on 2, that should get me to the nearest whole 10. So I've now added on 2 of the 14. Let's continue. Now, as I'm at a whole 10, I can add that other 10 on, and that would be a nice, simple thing to do in my head as well. So... 30 add 10 would give me 10, 20, 30, 40. There we go. And now I've added on 12 altogether. So I've only got two left to add on. And I've made it all the way to my answer. Did you get the right answer? I'm now going to show you a different method, which is partitioning. And this is a great method for using your lovely place value. And it splits all of your numbers into hundreds, tens, units, and so on. Let's have a look. Here's that question again, 28 add 14. Only this time, we're going to partition it and add it in our heads using our place value. In order to do this, I'm going to need to add up my tens and then add on the units. Again, I'm going to do this in my head, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing, and that's why I'm writing it down. So, I'm going to start off by looking at my tens. And I'm going to think to myself, here are my tens. So I've got 20 and 10, because I know that this is a 2 in the tens column, stands for 20, and a 1 in the tens column stands for uh, 10. So 20 add 10, well, I know that's 30. I'm going to remember that number now. I'm going to lock it away and wait until I've done my units. So let's go find our units. Here they are. I've got 8 and I've got 4. Now, 8 and 4. Now, I might need to use a bit of bridging here. So 8 and 2 gives me 10. Add on the other 2 gives me, ah, there we go, 12. So now I've got two numbers. I'm going to open that box again. I'm going to take out that 30 that I stored from before. I'm going to go 30 and 12. Well, 30 and 12. Let me have a think there. So I can use the same method again. Right, hang on a moment. I can do my 10s from here. So 30 add 10 is 40. 0 add 2 is 2. And I found my answer. Right then. That's our little look at both bridging and partitioning. Two great methods that you can use whilst working out your questions in your head. I wonder which one you'll choose to use whilst you're doing your homework. Now, in your homework books, you've got lots of addition questions that look a lot like this. Now, don't be put off by the fact there are not one, but two, but three numbers, because you can still work those out in your head. If you are bridging, start with the biggest number, add on until you've got to the nearest ten, add on any extra tens, and add on the bits at the end. If you're partitioning, think about which numbers are your tens, which ones are your units, and how you add those together. Good luck, and we hope to see some great mental maths next week.